Hello and welcome to JD's Turbulent Tooling. Today we'll be going over the ground run procedure for the MBB B0105 helicopter. This video is not for instructional purposes. Please refer to your applicable safe work procedures and manufacturer publications for all pre run up checks and walk around checks required. You should always perform a hazard assessment of the area, check for FOD, and ensure the exclusion zones for the aircraft are adhered to. Make all staff, faculty, and students aware of your intentions. Park the aircraft on level ground facing into the wind and designate an unpaid helper to be in charge of putting out any potential engine fire equipped with a CO2 fire extinguisher, standing at a safe distance near the engine intake. Your helper person will also oversee connecting and disconnecting ground power, ensuring people keep a safe distance from the aircraft while the engine is running. Check the outside temperature and then refer to the N1 starting speed versus outside air temp chart to know what N1 RPM to engage the starter at. In this example, the outside air temp was between negative 18 degrees and plus 7 degrees, so 13% N1 RPM is when we engage the starter. Start by making sure the collective lever is full down and locked. Connect ground power and close and latch all doors. To notify those in the area that you'll be operating the helicopter, check on those anti-collision lights located in the overhead switch panel. Check that your residual TOT is below 150 degrees Celsius. First, we engage our fuel boost pump and check that we're showing fuel pressure on the gauge. Next, we'll flick on the continuous ignition switch and you should hear those igniters start to snap. Can you hear the igniter? Next, engage the starter and check that oil pressure starts to rise. You should also see N1 beginning to rise at this time. If you do not see oil pressure within the first few seconds of engaging the starter, abort the start. Once N1 reaches the RPM you determined during your pre-check, move the power lever to the idle position in one swift movement to introduce fuel. Pressure, fuel on. Do not move the power lever too early or you can risk a hot start. Immediately start to watch the TOT gauge to make sure the engine does not over temp as indicated by the red line on the gauge. TOT will rise very quickly but will stabilize at a high temperature. Then begin to slowly drop again. If TOT begins to approach the yellow area of the gauge, shut off fuel immediately, but continue to engage the starter to attempt to cool the engine. Usually we'd be watching N2 to see our rotor speed. However, with no rotor blades attached, N2 is going to be abnormally high. When N1 RPM has reached 58%, disengage the starter and continuous ignition. If N1 has not reached 58% after one minute of continuous starter use, abort the start so you don't cook the starter. Once the starter is off, monitor all gauges to make sure everything is in the green. You want to be checking oil pressure, fuel pressure in the green, and that N1 and TOT have stabilized. You have now just started an engine. Before shutting down, let the engine idle for at least two minutes to allow the engine to cool properly. When ready to shut down, push in the power lever lock and move power lever back to the off position quickly and hold it in the off position while continuing to monitor N1 and TOT gauges until N1 rotation is stopped. Turn off all engine switches and pull any applicable breakers, then remove ground power from the aircraft. In this video, we cover the startup and shutdown procedures of the MBB BO 105 helicopter. I hope you learned something, and thanks for tuning in to JD's Turbulent Tooling.